Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into some fantastic packs for patrons. We have Puddin, KTW, and Angelo Mariucci. Alright, so let's grab four of these Baldur's Gate ones here for Angelo. Katie is after Commander Legends, Baldur's Gate, and Dominaria Remastered. And then everything else here going to Puddin. Thank you for being a patron, Puddin. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. And we do all of that to save the patrons on shipping costs. Starting off with Kolvori, God of Kinship. Alright, so we've got a wolf and a bear there. Sulfurous Maya, a snowland. Let's chuck it in. Looks like outside my house right now. Stalwart Valkyrie, Battlefield Raptor, Invoke the Divine, Funeral Longboat, Ascent of the Worthy, Fear Judge of Valor, a Legendary, Renegade Reaper, Hailstorm Valkyrie, and Reckless Crew for the Rare. We've also got Mer Moret of the Frost, a Legendary Snow Creature, Foil Cole, the Forge Master. And that is it. On to some Commander Legends. So, uh, what is the best pull you've ever gotten out of this set? I know it's been around for years, so maybe you have opened a few packs. We have Portent of Betrayal, Forceful Denial, Doomed Traveller, Makeshift Munitions, Trove Tracker, Haunted Cloak, Farhaven Elf, Bitter Revelation. Filigree Familiar, Raise the Alarm, Annoyed Altasaur, Maelstrom Colossus, Commander Sphere, and Uncommon Siren Storm Tamer, Faith's Fetters, Victimize, and Court of Grace. That is actually not a bad pull. I'll chuck in the legendaries, Elena Kessig Trapper, Belbay Corrupted Observer, Foil Murder, and a Zombie Token. On to some Lost Cabins of Ixalan. Can we find a god pool in this pack? That would be awesome. So this is, I'm going to say Amalia Benavides Aguire, I think is the name. Yep, a vampire. We've also got a Foil Promising Vein, followed by Daring Discovery, Sunfire Torch, a Razka Puzzle Door, Volatile Wonderglyph, a Braid, Glowcap Lantern, Senate Scout, Coeti Scavenger, Waterlogged Hulk, this flips into Watertight Gondola and a Subterranean Schooner for the rare. I think we'll get another one. Nope. Okay. Foil Glorifier of Suffering and from the list, No Rest for the Wicked from 10th edition. Some awesome old school artwork. So you'll see in the bottom left corner the Planeswalker symbol denoting a list pull. You also see those in Mystery Boosters. Alright, Kaldheim. Let's see an Angel pack this time. We have Orvar the All Form. So this is supposed to be a shapeshifter, I think. Okay, next we have a snow-covered forest. And there's a little creature sitting in the tree right there. We've got Iron Verdict, Doomscar Oracle, Revitalized Giant Ox. Rune of Might, Inga Runeyes, a legendary Kaya's Onslaught, Nico Defies Destiny, and Search for Glory. There's Nico again. We've got Igar, the Freezing Flame, a legendary creature. Foil, Revitalize, and a Foretell token. Let's chuck that in as well. Okay, so scooping it up here for Puddin, the highlight... Where is it? I think it was right near the beginning. Court of Grace, I think, is the best pull of the bunch. And, of course, Puddin getting a Shockland as well this month. Not too shabby. That's out of Ravnica Remastered. All right, next patron here we have Angelo Mariucci. Thank you for being a patron, and welcome back. So we have four packs of Baldur's Gate. I think Angelo is probably... Angling for the Ancient Copper Dragon in these. So here we have a bear. It is Wilson Refined Grizzly. Followed by an island. Fire Diamond. 
Taunting Kobold, Scaled Nurturers, Nimble Claw, Adept, Ambitious Dragonborn, Gut, True Soul Zealot, a Legendary Goblin Shaman, Street Urchin, another legend Legendary, Ganax, Astral Hunter, Arcane Signa, I think is still over a buck, and Duke Older Raven Guard, a Legendary Rare, followed by Tavern Brawler, and a Foil Etch, Sivirus Nightmare Speaker, along with Mirror of Life Trapping, Foil Forest, and a Treasure Token. So yeah, tons of legendary creatures in this set, as you might expect. It is a commander set after all. Draftable, I should add, except these are set boosters, so you'd have to stick with the draft boosters for that. We have a Charlin Dragon, nice one, followed by a Foil Island and Gut True Soul Zealot. There is again Goblin Shaman, Clockwork Fox, Bronze Walrus, Blessed Hippogriff, Pegasus Guardian, Guardian Naga, Kadira Cooler of the Small, a Legendary Overwhelming Encounter. You look upon the Terrast and you probably wouldn't survive that actually. Housen Emerald Arch Druid Criminal Past and a Foil Etched Zevlor Elturul Exile. Nice one. Wizards of Thay and Foil Oceanus Dragon followed by a Fairy Dragon Token. So we've got two more packs here for Angelo. I don't know, maybe the Dragon Dream is out of reach. We shall see. Oh, you get a signed art card. Uh, that's no thick, isn't it? Yeah, no thick. Creepy looking thing. And a mountain, followed by Marble Diamond, Sky Diamond, Dire Mimic, Mana Gate. Always chucking in the gates there. Ghastly Death Tyrant, a Beholder Skeleton. That is Insanity. Bane's Invoker, Baconia Drow Upper State. And Hammers of Moradin. Uh, is that over a buck? I don't know. Let's chuck it in. Githserai Monk. Imoan Mystic Trickster from Baldur's Gate, of course. Acolyte of Bahamut. Another legendary. Foil Etched Master Chef. And it is Popular Entertainer. Okay. Wah, 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 wah. We got a Showcase Foil. A Starion. The Decadent, of course. Starring in... Baldur's Gate 3, the game. Have you actually played it? What is your favourite character and do they appear in the magic set here? Let me know in the comments. There's actually a ton of them in here. Uh, this looks like a vampire. Who is it? We have Baloth Bar What is that? Baratil Entertainer. Never heard of it. Okay. We've got a Swamp, followed by a Marching Duo Drone, and why is he so happy? Weird. We've got Abdul Adrian Gorian's Ward, and Dragonborn Looter, Lurking Green Dragon, Aracocra Sneak, Drillworks Mole, Dungeon Delver, a legendary enchantment. Imowen again. Okay, Rules of Rail, Kingpin, another legendary. And a Mythic. We got Volo Itinerant Scholar. I think it's a bit bulky, so we won't sleeve it up. Noble Heritage. A rare legendary enchantment background. We got a Foil Etched Hardy Outlander. And Monster Manual. That is not too shabby. Foil Mold Folk. And a Skeleton Token to finish. And because it's awesome, we'll chuck it in. So the best pull... My guess would be that Monster Manual. I think that is uh, like five bucks or so, somewhere around there. So enjoy the pools, Angelo. And next up, we have KTW. Thank you for being a patron. Dominaria Remastered. Let's go for the Force of Will for Katie. We have Undying Rage, Horseshoe Crab, Sunclasp, Nightscape Familiar, Satan's Desire. Goblin Medics and Skirt Prospector, another Goblin Phantom Flock, Remote Isle Damping Sphere, is it over a buck? Let's check it in, Faceless Butcher, and a split card, we have Life and Death, followed by Absorb, okay, cool artwork though, we've got a White Mane Lion, Planes, and a Bird, okay, so, Commander Legends, 
you have got to show us what you're made of because I know we get some great pulls out of this set. We have Molder Beast, the distant cousin to the Scully Beast, Goblin Trailblazer, Sailor of Means, Doom Traveler, Valakut Invoker, Marble Diamond, Bitter Revelation, Palace Sentinels, Far Haven Elf, Eye Blight Massacre, Ancestral Blade, Path of Ancestry, Workshop Assistant, Fathom Fleet, Swordjack for the Uncommon, Stinger Fling, Spider, Pride of the Perfect, ooh, and Training Center. Not too shabby. We'll whack a sleeve on that one for you. Obeka, Brute, Chronologist, and Zara, Renegade Recruiter, Foil, Body of Knowledge. And look at that foil. Very flat. That's awesome. And a soldier. Yeah, so early on, I'm going to say the first year or two of the Commander Legends printings, terrible Pringled foils. And they must have fixed that at some point because everything I've opened in like... The last year or so has been really flat, so that's good to see. On to some Baldur's Gate. Who is this dude? We have Zevlor Elturul Exile, along with a Mountain, followed by Moss Diamond, House and Emerald Arch Druid, a Legendary. You're confronted by robbers! Oceanus Dragon, Universal Solvent Decanter of Endless Water, Emerald Dragon, Amethyst Dragon, ooh, is this, yes, a Dragon Pack, Topaz Dragon, and Nine Fingers Keen for the rare, we've got Cultist of the Absolute, another rare foil, Levan Cultist of Tiamat, foil etched that one, and Astarion the Decadent, there is again, Foil Barrels Invoker, and from the list, Scrib Ranger, that is actually a nice pull as well. Okay, final pack here for KDW, Dominaria Remastered. Let's get into it, and hopefully we can make it into the greatest hits today. Link in the corner to the complete playlist, but I don't think we're there just yet. Final pack magic, we have Hylopterus Limur. Battlefield Scranger, Ridgetop Raptor, Counterspell, we'll take it. Urborg, Siphon Mage, Skirt Prospector, Goblin, Deep Analysis, Phantom Flock, Slippery Cast, Dromar's Cavern for the Uncommons, Quicksilver, Dagger, Ooh, High Tide, Borderless, we'll take that. And the rare is Denizen of the Deep. Some awesome retro artwork there. We've got Man of War and Forest and a Cat Token. Okay, so the best pull I'm thinking for Katie, probably going to be the Training Center. So enjoy the pools. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.